All right, so I just wanted to make, um, kind of a lot of stuff going through my head and just felt like I wanted to say it out loud and then put it on YouTube so all 25 of my subscribers can watch it. Anyway, so I'm a little conflicted on, think on something. Um, I went to a meeting Monday, so, well, a week ago, almost a week ago, on for an intro to a new classical conversations that's starting up in my town and two of my mom friends that I've made recently that are homeschooling moms had they told me about it and I was like well yeah I want to go and we had already me and the other two moms had talked like a few months ago about having a some type of co-op that was based on a more Christian world view because we we're both kind of part of a more uh, secular one even though I think a lot of people would might profess to be Christians and there was just some kind of comments made that was a little concerning to us that we felt that's not well for one it wasn't biblical but it is a part of a lot of mainstream culture and uh, we know a lot of Christianity has strayed from a lot of the truth on things in order to adapt and tolerate things that the Bible's pretty clear on. And as Christians, we're going to hold to the to the Bible as our standard, as an infallible truth. And, but I've, you know, I've been like so sold on this like Charlotte Mason stuff. And these moms have been doing a bit of Charlotte Mason. So we kind of like already had this similar mindset. And... I was never like a, totally opposed to classical conversations. Um, I just was like thinking, yeah, it seems like so much memorization. It might be a little bit more work. And I just wasn't really that, because I just really wasn't that interested in it. But certainly not, not against it or anything. And I went to the meeting and there was just a handful, I don't know, there was five or six moms and then the person that's been doing it in another one in the next uh, city over. And the two, my two mom friends were like immediately on board. <laughs> They're doing it. And I was like, well, I don't know. I was like, I have to pray about it. And I've been praying some, and then I kind of just think and meditate on it because I was like, I need a, I need an answer from the Lord on this to be sure. And I had already kind of somewhat agreed to kind of do a little like kindergarten type meetup group where with a couple other moms and it was kind of just, is not Christian one, but I once again, probably most people are, uh, would profess to have faith, but that's not the center or the purpose of it or anything. And, and I'm not like sold on that. I have to be part of a co-op that is strictly Christian. My kids go to church, they go to Sunday school, and then they get what they at home. They don't have to learn about God specifically, but that worldview is pretty important and pretty precious, especially if I believe that um, what the scripture says regarding that um, fear of uh, fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and I know God wants me to educate my children with a Christian worldview even that was never my initial intent when I decided to homeschool anyway I'm gonna be going on way too long on this so I'll try to not keep it too much longer so I've just been like it's just been like kind of eating me up a little bit like Okay, is this the Holy Spirit acting on me? Is this just my emotions because I don't I don't want to do it because now do I have to shift? But the the lady said that uh, Charlotte Mason blends pretty well with it and there are a lot of similarities. So it's not like I have to just give up on Charlotte Mason, but I like I just bought the third volume in the series and was fixing to start reading it and I'm like, "Okay, should I stop?" Um am I, you know, I'm kind of figuring out what is what is it God wants me to do because I need to listen to the Holy Spirit and I need to obey. And I think even my husband was kind of concerned when I had talked about this kinder group because it was going to be like, well, once again, it's going to be kind of, it'd be kind of secular. And, you know, what if there's something, another family that there's some concerns there that I'm exposing my children to something that is not okay as they're, as they're young and they need to have God, as much godly influences when they're young and as they get older they're going to be able to hopefully discern and understand more things 
So, and I'm just like, I don't know if I can just have that mind shift shift, shift of this whole classical conversation thing. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to be a flake when it comes to this whole kindergarten thing because I'm not a, usually a flaky person. Like, I have to kind of have a good reason to back out on something. But it's not like I was totally said, yes, I'm doing it, but I think it was pretty clear that I'm in because I was like, oh, yeah, I could help teach a, you know, phonics stuff because that's something I was good at when I was teaching. Like, something I know I was good at. I'm not trying to, like, toot my own horn or anything. Um, so I'm just, kind of just don't know. And sometimes I just, I know when, like, the Holy Spirit speaks, like, it's, it's clear, like, I'll kind of know certain things. And then sometimes it's like, well, I kind of just have to wait and listen and pay attention. And I'm just kind of like, I don't know why I feel nervous about it. So it's, so I don't know if it's just me. Is it, is the enemy trying to stick something in my head or, or what? Because I know God led me to Charlotte Mason for a purpose and I've been doing a lot of Charlotte Mason. It doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't mean I have to quit. I can do this whole classical conversations for a year. Uh, I only have to pay for one kid right now. So we've got definitely got the money for it and it's not like I can't just find some stuff online just to make a little bit of extra income if, if I have to but we're, we're good financially on that anyway I will probably continue to provide an update on what do we decide to do and I'm just going to keep trying to pray and, and listen to what the Lord is wanting me to do and make sure that I'm obeying and not just responding with like emotions on that all right thanks for listening